Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski from kathyzilski.com and I'm back with another card. Please note, I am not a professional card maker, but I am a new card maker and I have a lot of enthusiasm. Let's begin. Today I am going to make something with a stencil. Now I've made things with this stencil before and I don't have a ton of stencils, so I'm kind of stretching my supplies and I'm starting with a rainbow. I feel like if you just picked out seven inks in rainbow colors, you could use them again and again and again, because that's what I do. Cost saving, thank you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taping down my background cardstock. I don't need it to be edge to edge because I'm gonna be cutting this out with a die. And I'm, but I like to tape everything down because when things slip, I wanna cry and then I have to start over. And I'm using blue masking tape and I'm using this awesome printed pad paper from Simon Says Stamp to help me line up and mask off the areas where I'm gonna just blot on some ink. Well, blot it on. You know, I don't really have super great uh, blending skills. So something like this is good for someone like me because the stencil sort of gives you that buffer and you can just put that ink on and then look what happens. I pull up that tape and voila, I have a perfectly straight line. And then I'm gonna retape that one off so that I don't muck up what I did and then bring in some more tape. And again, I'm using that grid paper and I'm using three squares each. That's how deep each of my stripes is gonna be. Now in the end card, they won't all be equal, but this just helps me to get the color down. So I repeat. And sometimes I blot the ink off and sometimes I don't on the paper. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling because I'm not, I'm not a professional. You can't rope me in to one style of blotting. Okay, once everything's on, ah, look at that. The, the reveal of the, the honeycomb grid. Now I am gonna blot a little because I'm gonna go back in with, with each color that I stenciled on and just kind of blend over lightly. I don't wanna erase the, the, the hexagon, or wait a minute, polygons, thank you. But I do want to put just, you know, a little bit of color so that it's not stark white. There's nothing wrong with the stark white. Oh, and also I just want to point out, I didn't blot off. And then if you'll see here, I, I smudged, I smooshed, I mucked up with the big chunk of pink. And I looked at that and I thought, oh, Kathy, do you have to start over? Do you? No, I'm going to keep going and proceed. So this is the process, just going over each one and kind of, you know, doing the little circular motions and layering it on. And also you will see in the lower left, I did I actually dropped one of my ink pads right on. Yeah, that was good. I kept going. And now I'm just taking that distress sprayer and just getting some big globs of ink, getting that paper towel. And this is still really cool every time I do it to me because I, I'm pretty new to distress inks and I just love that, that effect. And I went ahead, did a little bit more just cause it wasn't quite as blotchy as I wanted and get that done. And now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set that aside to dry and work on a sentiment. And I am using a set, my set, Simple Sentiments from Simon Says Stamp uh, and just some black licorice cardstock. Gonna get my, my little powder tool there. It always, it always feels weird to put so much powder on, but I, apparently that's what people do. You know, we do it so that uh, the, 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 what is it? The embossing powder won't stick. And that's something when I first started embossing, which was, literally like four months ago. I couldn't figure out why so much of it stuck to my paper. Live and learn. Okay, getting the sentiment down, taking my, my tiny, tiny little spoon and my Hero Arts amazing, I love this stuff, the white, yeah, yeah. Tap it off and heat set it. And I'm gonna set that aside because I'm gonna trim that out off camera and that little strip is going to be ready to roll. Next up, making a card base. Now I just got this Martha Stewart card mini scoring tool, but I hated the tool that came with it. Instead, I bought one of these really amazing um, Teflon ones, the Teflon ones from Simon Says Stamp, worth the money because it allows you to make the nicest score, the paper doesn't crack. I go a little slow because I'm, you know, I'm still pretty new at this, but I love this, the bone folder, highly recommend. Okay, so I've got a piece of fun foam because it's really fun. I think I think you can see that. I've got the fun foam and I have been having trouble with the kind of double stick tape that you peel and you cut. And, and I just got a brand new scrapbook adhesives, the tape runner. 
This stuff works great for putting on fun foam. So I never say never that I won't use the other again, but I really love the Easy Runner. It just lays it down and it makes a really nice stick. And then yeah, get that schmutz off. And then I put it on the back of that again and mounted that to my card base. <laughs> yeah, I set that aside. For the title, now this is coming uh, to my collection at Simon Says Stamp. It's gonna be part of a wafer thin dye word set. I'm just using the temporary mock-up that I cut out on my, my Cameo. And I printed a bunch out, glued them together and stacked them. This is something that I love doing. And I again, I didn't know people did this. It's all new to me. Love it, love making uh, sentiments that way. So now it's time to glue stuff down and I'm gonna use the multi matte medium, which I'm getting a little better at using. I like it cause it is pretty, it's pretty strong stuff. And so I just put a bunch of dots all over the back and yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball this. You know, I wasn't standing up looking straight down at my card. And sometimes for me, when I'm actually creating something, I don't sit with my hands in front of a camera. So I feel like I could have brought that hello down just a little. All right. But I put the little sentiment strip on and now I am taking, I, I own four sets of sequins. These are from Neat and Tangled. I only own four and I have finally figured out how to use the pick me up tool because someone told me the end comes out. What? What, what is this sorcery, right? Cause I couldn't figure out like, how do you pick it up with a sticky thing? You put, you know, your glossy accents adhesive, you put that down and then every time I try to lift it up, if the sequin would come with it, you use the other part of the, of the tool. And that's a tip that someone gave me on Instagram. So don't ever let anyone tell you that Instagram's a waste of time. Cause really, how would I have known? So I got all of those down. It was so slick. I felt like I had acquired a new skill. And the last touch, Nouveau Crystal Drops. Yes, I have moved into the Nouveau Crystal Drops. Say that three times fast. I have moved into this realm and I just put a little, just a little globule in the center of each. And when it dries, it dries clear and it, it looks like magic. Am I right? <laughs> oh. Anyway, that is my non-professional newest card making a rainbow stencil and you can do it too because making cards apparently is really fun. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.